Senate moves to reduce RGP's power. The Senate has begun the process of amending the Police Act of 2020, titled the Nigerian Police Act 2020 Amendment Bill. The bill sponsored by Senator Surajuddin Bashiru of Oshun is seeking to enhance the operations of the Nigerian Police Force. Provision of funds and whittling down the over-centralization of the command structure of the police force. The bill also seeks to create a Zonal and State Security Advisory Council. On news headline on VOS TV, Governor of Delta State, Ifai Okowa, has given conditions for which the federal government can spend the loot recovered from former Delta State Governor, James Ibori. The governor who kept mute since the story of the recovered loot broke out, advised the federal government to either return the loot to Delta State government or spend it on key projects in the South-South state. The conditions given by Dr. Okowa was contained in a letter sent to the federal government. Yoruba elders denied linked with Sunday Igboho secession bid. Yoruba Council of Elders have distanced itself from the secessionists being championed by Yoruba activist Sunday Adeyemo, a.k.a. Sunday Igboho, they hinged their decision on the fact that Yoruba nation has invested hugely on the Nigerians' formation and unity. The Security General, Kunle Olajide, in a statement, said Sunday Igboho does not have the capacity to represent the Yoruba people. The Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria has called on President Muhammadu Buhari to brace up and tackle the rising cases of kidnappings, killings and banditry rather than engage in any form of negotiations with insurgents. The President of the Fellowship, Bishop Francis Waleoke, who stated this in Ibadan, also advised the President to brief Nigerians on the state of the nation as well as seek international support to end the activities of bandits in the country. That's it on news headline on VOS TV. I am blessing Raji.